Welcome to our tutorial on coincident points. I'm going to create a sketch on the YZ plane and zoom a little bit. Okay, let's expand these branches. Now I'm going to create a line. What we see here is that Katia has created one line and two supporting points. Now I'll create a circle in the center of this point. This circle and this line share one point. Now, if I try to move the circle, the line moves too. If I try to move the line, then the circle moves also. Sometimes you may not want this type of relationship between your different geometric parts. Let's learn how to avoid it. I'll delete the circle. Now let's hold down the shift key and create the same circle. Now what we see is that this circle has its own point. When I try to move the circle, I can move it freely. If we want to make these two points coincident, simply select them. Select Coincidence, click OK, and as you can see now, they move together. I'm going to delete this. Now I'm going to create a line with a center at the origin point. What happens here? I have one line and one point, but maybe I don't want to create my line this way. So let's delete this line. What I can do is make the origin point unpickable. Right click, select properties, Select the Graphic tab. Uncheck this box. Apply, click OK. Now, when I create a line with a center at the origin point, Katia created two points and added coincident relationships with the horizontal and vertical vectors. Let's delete these. Now I can freely move this line. This concludes our Coincident Points tutorial.